Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah. And let's start with the local stocks as the Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,315.55 points, marking an increase of 4.38 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment, and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the investment sector, with 39% of total shares of nine transactions included, 1,819,086 shares worth 472,697 Bahraini dinars. Gulfair today announced it will increase its Moscow service from four weekly to a daily flight with a new operating schedule that will come into effect in the last week of October. Coinciding with the airline's three-year anniversary of direct non-stop service to uh, from the international airport in the Russian capital Moscow. Gulf Air's direct Moscow route is further supported by a special pro-rate agreement, SPA, agreement between the airline and Russian carrier S7 Airlines, enabling Gulf Air passengers to take flights beyond Moscow to and from various Russian cities. With a combined fare that is more attractive uh, than those purchased separately, the SPA agreement allows passengers to purchase only one ticket at a more competitive fare for their entire journey, instead of separate tickets for each individual carrier. The price of gold rose to a one-year peak today after the dollar tumbled on the back of the weak U.S. jobs data and the unchanged growth of inflation outlook from the European Central Bank. Spot gold climbed to an intraday peak of 1,345.25 an ounce, the strongest since September 2016, before pairing gains to 1,341.54 U.S. dollars, a rise of 0.6 percent. It is 0.3 percent in the previous session. U.S. gold futures for December delivery rose 0.6 percent to 1,346.80 U.S. dollars. And now for oil, as oil futures move to opposition directions today, with a boost from U.S. refineries restarting after tropical storm Harvey being countered by disruptions caused by the hurricane Irma. That being said, as Brent crude futures were up 11 cents at 54.31 U.S. dollars, a barrel close to their highest since May 25th. While U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures fell 27 cents to 48.89 U.S. dollars, still near a three-week high as of Wednesday, about 3.8 million barrels of daily refining capacity, or 20 percent of the U.S. total, was shut in through a number of refineries and petroleum handling reports were restarting. The 9th BRICS summit, which just wrapped up in East China's Xiamen, has approved an outline for investment facilitation among its members. Spokesman Gao Feng introduced achievements the summit made in the field of economy and trade at its press briefing, saying that a series of plans had been brought out to facilitate trade. He added that the meeting has confirmed a roadmap for cooperation regarding e-commerce trade and services, trade facilitations and intellectual property, while bringing out an outline document promoting investment facilitation. The U.S. chipmaker Intel's decade-long fight against a 1.06 billion euro EU antitrust fund is set to drag on after Europe's top judges told lower and lower court today to re-examine the case. In what uh, should be seen as encouraging sign for the company, the judges said the lower court should focus on Intel's arguments that its rebates to customers were not anti-competitive. The ruling by the Court of Justice of the European Union may force a European Commission to re-examine its top offline and economic approach in other antitrust cases. A row over how much money Britain should pay the European Union when it leaves the bloc will most probably go on for the duration of the EU exit talks. Brexit Minister Davis David uh, said that two sides have every different legal stances over the so-called Brexit bill. Britain, which began a two-year negotiating period in March, uh, has said it is prepared to meet its international obligations and last week said London was willing to offer more than the bare legal minimum. Davis added that Britain would probably look to continue its relationship with the European Investment Bank. And that's all for the business news for this evening. And it's back to you, Shog. Thank you, Baba.